Hello family, this is Liz to so come and have a quick chat or basically to continue the conversation that we've been having about money disorder. And um, I was basically loosely defining um, disorder as uh, a lack of orderliness or a lack of organization, a lack of um, a method or a lack of a system in dealing with your money. But I, I want to even expound on that um, because when you look at it, you know, basically your money hits your account and you spend it. So that is an order. That is a method to doing something. So to say I want to expound on that or explain, expand that and say that uh, money is or looking at disorder as being a lack of a productive system or a lack of productive order or a lack of a productive method or a lack of productive organization when dealing with your money. And I'm adding the word productive in there because I'm talking about your money supposed to benefit you. Okay, so when you get into doing things that don't benefit you, then you're basically adding problems to yourself. So that takes us to our topic today, which is money worshiping. So things that basically take away from us. And the first one I want to talk about is gambling. Um, when you gamble your money, then you're not basically, you're basically spending your money without a reward. Think about it. When when people gamble, yes, you may feel that initial high if you win, but if you don't win, <laughs> then that's a loss with, with no hope for a return. So that's not really productive in your life. And then also uh, workaholism is also another um, component of the um, money worshiping. And basically that that's robbing yourself of, of time. Yes, you may be um, making more money, but in your working, are you doing something that actually benefits you? I, I was actually told this one time too. Um, you know, if you're going to take on a second job, take on a second job that, that benefits you in some way. Basically, <clears throat> with the um, additional money, that's then that you put that money away to to invest. So you grow in money so that you don't always have to work that second job. Or And even in that, you know, you work at a place where you get uh, benefits or, you know, discounts on things that you're interested in. So follow things that you're interested in, on, especially in your second job. Don't just keep doing something just to have the money. Because um, then now you're stealing. When you take away your time, you're taking away basically portions of your life. So, so look at your time that way. Your time is so valuable. And then the third thing uh, which I'm going to talk about with the uh, money disorder is the... Um, overspending. I mean, it, that, that just speaks for itself. Is your, your money hits your account, you spend, you spend, you spend, you can't wait to even get to the store to spend. And there's no return. Once again, there's no return for, for the money that has gone out because you're still in debt. You still have the bills that you have to pay. Um, maybe you needed groceries and you didn't get those, or now you can't get the kind of groceries that you needed, you know, healthier foods because you, you spent so much money on basically needless things. And one example of that too is, is looking at, you know, the, this um, yesterday and today being um, Amazon basically prime days, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people spend a lot of money, but you know, I, I was really happy that I didn't get anything. I didn't even look <laughs> to see what they had. I did think about it, but I was like, no, there, there's nothing that I need. I, I just thought about, you know, my life and took inventory of things that I have. And I'm like, there's nothing that I need. So you have to look at it that way. You look at your money as a tool. You know, I know people say, oh, it's not all about the money. Money is a tool. That's just like your car breaking down. And you're saying you don't need any tools to fix it. Your pocket is broke. You need money to fix it. Okay, so... Um, just speaking about, you know, common sense things. And so, like I always say, these are basic things. These things don't really build us up and they won't change our, um, basically our family or our um, generational wealth situation. We, we have to go on to the next level of education for that. So that's what I'm, what I'm always pro pro promoting, sorry, <laughs> is the abacas and saying, you know, join, let's go to the next level. Um, go ahead and take uh, advantage of this opportunity to learn about the markets. Don't continue to miss this opportunity. So this is Laissa. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, I hope to hear from you soon. Oh, and also on Twitter. <laughs> take care. Bye.